Let's meet the starters. Number one, Fox Valley Money Man is owned by the Lily Racing Stable of Downers Grove by Jerry and J.D. Graham of Salem and Fairview Heights, trained by Rick Schrock, driven by Dave McGee. Two, Kansas Tornado, owned by Gerald Martin of Murray, Kentucky, Quincy Boggs of Edinburgh, Illinois, trained and driven by Jerry Martin. Number three, He's No Shrimp, is owned by Mike Brink of Springfield and Carl Swanson of Washington, Illinois, trained and driven by Mike Brink. Number four, My Friend Flippet, owned by Bill and Brenda Langdon of Tams, trained by Candy Schooley. The driver is Tim Tietrick. Number five, Raider Dan, owned by Clifford Johns of Trivoli and David Johns of Bartonville, trained by Dave Fagan, and Dave is in the bike. And number six, Early Charge, owned by Dr. Robert Lacey of Nokomis, trained and driven by Tom Simmons. They'll be at the post in only six minutes for today's second event. The gate is rolling. I've always wanted to do this. Here they come. They're off and trotting. Pulling out to the lead, it looks like it's number two, Kansas Tornado, and on the inside, Fox Valley Money Man. Now the number one horse, Fox Valley Money Man, is in the lead. In second is Kansas Tornado. In third place, uh, we've got, uh, four, my friend. number four, my friend Flip It. Number, number, three, he's no shrimp, is now number three has moved into second place. He's no shrimp as they head to the quarter pole. Still leading is... Fox Valley Money Man, and they hit the quarter at 29 and 4. Still leading is Fox Valley Money Man. Second is He's No Shrimp. Third is My Friend Flip It. Fourth is Early Charge. And fifth is Raider Dan. And rounding out the field is Kansas Tornado in last place, last place away from the field. Here comes the six horse charging on the outside to take the lead at the half mile mark, racing at one minute and four fifths. Now, early charge has the lead. That's number six. Come in second is Fox Valley Money Man. In third place is He's No Shrimp. And in fourth is my friend Flip It. Heading to the three quarter pole, still leading is early charge. And Fox Valley Money, Money Man is in second place. In third is He's No Shrimp. In fourth is My Friend Flip It. As they head to the home stretch after the three-quarter mark of 130 flat, coming down the stretch is My Friend Flip It. In second place is... Hey, let's go with, uh... Looks like My Friend Flip It's going to win this second race. And Fox Valley Money Man, no, is number one going to win it. Coming in second is third, He's No Shrimp. Yep. And in third is the five horse, Raider Dan. They finish at 159 and four for these three year old trotters. Gordon, I want to ask you something. Let's bring Gordon Showalter back in. Gordon, I, I tell you, when, when Ellen and when uh, Jim Hannon came up and said, hey, let's have a celebrity race caller, I didn't say anything at the time, but Stan Bergstein, you remember Stan that used to call the Hamiltonian? Exactly, exactly. Well, just a little bit. Like My dad can tell you more about that. Well, t as, you, as you probably noticed when you got up here, Stan Bergstein would tell you this. My father always said this. I always said this. The announcer has the worst seat in the house. Now, people in the grandstand can't tell that from where they are. But folks, where Gordon and I are standing, when they come off that last turn, when they straighten away in the home stretch, Gordon, what can you see? Uh, just nothing but noses. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So unless you've got a horse with a big blaze face or a brightly colored piece of equipment, uh, a guy has to do a lot of tap dancing here in the home stretch. And uh, Stan Bergstein, my father, myself, anybody that's ever called races here has always had to work around the home stretch. And we're, we're still holding out, Gordon, hoping someday they might move the announcer stand over to the grandstand side. Well, I can uh, tell you what, I appreciate what you do right now because it's uh, not easy. But, folks, I tell you what, I think for a guy that never called a harness race before, what do you think? I think Gordon Showalter did a fine job. Folks, how about a hand for Gordon? And, Gordon, thank you. Thank you very much. And don't forget, you can hear Gordon today on 1580 AM WDQN during the races with his father, Gene.
And folks, the official winner of DeCoin's second race is owned by the Lily Racing Stable of Downers Grove and by Jerry and J.D. Graham of Salem and Fairview Heights. Trained by Rick Schrock, driven by Dave McGee. How about a hand for number one, Fox Valley Money Man? Tim Wilson and son-in-law Glenn McNeil of Tim Wilson Farm are making the presentation of the blanket for this second race. And don't forget, the staff at Tim Wilson Farm will bring you the inaugural offering of the Windy City Yearling Sale at Balmoral Park on Sunday, September 14th. And we hope you can join us on that Sunday at Balmoral. And, of course, the Tim Wilson Farm is home to such stallions as Big Tom and Fort Apache Hanover, each of which will have their first crop racing next year. And we look forward to that.